gosh. Wow. Got it. Whoa. Oh. Ever since I heard about butter slime, I wanted to do this video. Today I'm going to be testing four different clays to make butter slime and I am so excited. So I've been seeing Daisy O clay all around Instagram. It's like so famous. Everyone uses Daisy O clay, which is like really soft clay that you mix in the slime. I've only ever tried Model Magic. So we have Model Magic, Daisy O clay, some clay that's called Clay for Slime by Ease, and then we just have Polymore Oven Bake Clays. So today I'm going to be comparing the four different clays you can use to make butter slime, and I'm really excited. My Daisy is coming in tomorrow because it takes longer to ship because it comes from Japan. So I will be in a different shirt when I test the matches. A little heads up. Make sure to follow me on Instagram for awesome behind the scenes, and I also post a lot. And subscribe to my channel, which will be down below. But first, we have to make one huge batch of white slime, which I'm then going to break into four different small slimes. So since I'm going to be making four butter slimes, I need a lot of glue. That's why I have a gallon. This bowl is like the best for slime making. Y'all should definitely get a bowl like this, like a really big one. <laughs> And I guess that's enough glue. This is optional. I'm just gonna add some baby oil because I think it'll help smooth out this slime. I'm gonna add a half cup or at least what's left because I've used a lot of it. Whoa, ew, it's so like thick. And then I'm just gonna stir that together. Ooh, it smells super good. It looks really weird, like. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. It just helps it when it's activating. Stir that all together. And I'm just gonna leave this white because the clay we bought is colored. Now I'm gonna activate it. So in here, I just have a cup of water and a teaspoon of borax. So this makes my solution. If you're not allowed to use borax, you can also use laundry detergent. Whoa, okay, it's getting like really thick. And more borax with my slime until it turned into a real slime. It did take a lot of borax because it's so big. So now I'm just adding a little more water. Okay, so this is my baby. It could be stretchier, but I think once we add the clay, I can add maybe some more water. So the first clay I'm gonna be trying is Soft Clay for Slime by E. So this one was expensive. But it looks really cute, so I'm excited to mix this in. And it says it's pore slime, so I'm almost 100% sure it's gonna feel good. Okay. Oh, it feels like squishy. <gasps> Ooh, it kind of feels a lot like Mono Magic. I hope this is a win. Okay, this looks so awesome. <gasps> Ooh, oh, it's wet. Ew, it's wet. Oh, whoa. <gasps> oh, it feels like once you mix it with slime, it'll actually be really good. So I think I'm only gonna do half of it because I don't wanna do the whole thing because it's actually a lot bigger than it looks in the packaging. It's really like soft and squishy, so it feels like it's gonna be really good. So I think this clay is like super good, but it gets all over my nails. So I'm gonna take a small thing from my big batch. So this is gonna be my slime. I'm gonna mix it with the pink clay. I'm gonna do all of these slimes equal amount to the clay. So these are about the same size. It's gonna be such a pretty color. So let's start mixing. I'm gonna do just like the Instagram videos do. It already feels like it's so squishy. I'm like obsessed with this clay. Guys, I'm like freaking out. This is so cool. I love mixing in clay. It's one of my favorite things to watch because they're two different colors. So you get to actually like see the clay. It's getting a little bit stretchier, honestly. Oh, it's getting kind of sticky, just a little bit. Oh, ooh, ooh. Sticky, guys, sticky. Maybe it won't be sticky once I've mixed it up. Oh my gosh, <gasps> guys. And it's like sticking to my tablecloth. Ew, oh my gosh. Look what's happening. Ooh, ooh. It says it's for slime, but like, I don't know. All right guys, it's about to get messy. I'm adding some borax to my slime because it just literally turned so sticky. I shouldn't have called it for slime if it was gonna look like this. It is really stretchy and nice though. I gotta admit, I do like it. Okay, so it does feel really nice, but it is so sticky. So in the end, this was my slime. It looks so cute in its container because I added a white to the pink. It is really stretchy, and the slime that I mixed in before wasn't stretchy at all. So it did make it like a better slime. If the slime touches the rim of it, 
of the container, it sticks to it. So I don't know, I feel like 1 out of 10 this would be a 7 because I really like the slime. It's just kind of like weird <laughs> and it was messy, but I do like it. So next I'm going to be doing Model Magic. So I've used this one before and if you've ever made Butter Slime, you've probably used Model Magic. It's like the most common one. So I'm going to be showing y'all what a Model Magic Butter Slime feels like. Got it. So basically this clay comes, it's super stretchy, it's basically already like a slime, it's just a little bit thick. Okay, so I'm going to take some of my white slime, there's a lot of this Model Magic, so I'm going to have to need a lot. Okay, I actually ripped the Model Magic in half because it does get pretty big. So let's start mixing! I'm very excited for this one, I feel like I haven't made a Model Magic slime in a while. It is harder to mix in though. lotion and the thing about model magic is it's got to be like a stretchy slime before you add it I feel like model magic just kind of colors it and makes it feel buttery so it's getting really thick and really beautiful the heat of your hands really helps so I don't know if I'm gonna have to microwave this but it is so good oh my gosh it got so stretchy I didn't even add anything it was just like the heat of my hands and the mixing it's just like so, so pretty. Okay, so by the way, these containers that we got, we got 12 of them. They'll be linked below as well from Amazon. They're so good. We thought they were gonna be like really small. Woo, it looks like ice cream. Love it. This slime is probably the best so far. I can't close it. I can't close it, oh my gosh. What's wrong with me? There we go. It's so cute. I'm gonna give Model Magic a nine out of 10. Not 10 because like, it's not like the Best thing. Okay, so then this next slime I'm kind of worried about. So basically on the description, it said that it was like super stretchy and nice and it's good for slime, but it's like a hard rock. So I think that the warmth of my fingers is gonna make it really good. So this is gonna be one that you gotta need for like ever. Polymore oven bake. So you're supposed to be able to like make a shape and then you oven bake it to make it hard, but I'm not going to do that obviously. So they come with a bunch of cute little colors. I've decided I'm going to do purple. So here's my little white slime. Here is my purple slime. So it's basically like, it's kind of squishy, but it's like really hard. All right, let's get mixing. It's like not even stretching. I mean, I feel it kind of moving. It's literally in that same like square. So I just microwaved it for 10 seconds, only 10 and it's really hot, but you can see it's actually mixing, so the clay kind of melts. Okay, the clay is like fully mixed in and it feels really weird, it's really hot. I think that the clay heats up really fast. I did it for about 15 and I felt it starting to kind of get a little bit dry on the outside, so don't do it more than 15 seconds, otherwise it'll probably dry out. One out of 10, I would give this slime probably a six because it was hard and it's starting to get less stretchy the more that it cools off. It's really small and these containers are really big, but it's cute. I like it. So once it got cold from after the microwave, it got really bad. The purple chunks of the clay always fall out and it's not stretchy. When it is microwaved, it's good, but like this alone, it just is not good at all. Okay guys, so when is the next day and I'm going to be trying Dazo Clay. It came in and I'm so excited. This clay is white and this slime was white so I added a little bit of yellow to the white slime so I'm gonna start mixing. All right, let's open it. I'm so excited. I feel it, I feel it, ah, I feel it. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so squishy, oh my goodness. This is the real Dezo, like the clay that everyone uses. Whoa, squishy. Okay, my slime is really small, so I'm gonna rip this in half, like that. Oh, I'm sorry, I had to ruin the perfect shape. So that's around the same size, but I wanna do more of the slime than the clay, because this clay is pretty expensive and it took a while to get here, so I don't wanna like ruin it. The clay feels really nice. Like I honestly just wanna play with this, but I'm gonna mix it with my slime now, so. I'm actually mixing days of clay. So it's really easy to mix in. Like I thought it'd be a lot tougher. Like it's literally mixing in so quick. Oh, it's getting buttery. I feel it getting really thick. I like the color it made. Like it made a really light pastel. I feel like it's not mi done mixing. Like you see the white. Oh my gosh, so I'm done mixing in this slime. It is so pretty and I'm really obsessed with it. I give this a nine out of 10. I love it so much. So much. Okay, so this was the first slime that we made. It is so good. I'm gonna be comparing all of them. Whoa, 
I feel like I haven't felt it in a while because I did do the day so a day after, but it's really pokey and it made it a lot stretchier, like a lot stretchier and it swirls really well. The Model Magic one is just as good as all my Model Magic ones are. Off camera, I added a lot of lotion because the thing with Model Magic is that it makes the slime really not stretchy. And then there's this one. Oh my gosh, it turned hard. It turned hard. Oh. It turned into like a rock. All right, guys, please don't ever, ever do this clay. It's literally so dry. And then the Dezo. This one is really good. It's really stretchy, really buttery, really matte. This one's definitely my favorite. My second favorite, I know that in the video I rated the Model Magic higher than the pink, but I actually, now that I'm feeling it a day after, I like the pink one better. It was hard to mix in because it got sticky, but the finishing results are a lot stretchier. Thank you guys so much for watching. This video was really fun to make. All of these things that I used from Amazon will be linked below and I'm not sponsored by the way. My new merch coming out. It comes out today by the time this video is posted. So make sure to check it out. Link below. Also stay tuned for next week because I'm going to be testing a bunch of cool things with clear slime. I'm not going to give too much away but I have some gold things. Bye!